Hey, what's going on guys? It is Jaco back again with another episode of Modern Life and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a weird challenge. I've never done this before, but in Impulse VIP there is an option to decrease your graphics. Now, I already have as a hotkey, so we're going to talk for a second. And today we're going to be doing a little challenge of what it would be like to do a mission like this and i'm not going to use any teleportation or any flying mods um it is already difficult to f like find a car um but yeah but before we do that we're just gonna like see what another online player looks like but before we get into it please remember to drop a like subscribe turn on post notifications and uh yeah let's go check out what someone looks like but before you know before we do the actual challenge we're, we're just gonna mess around and see what other people look like i'm not gonna okay Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. And okay, we're gonna fall for a while. Am I gonna land on this car? No, okay. So now we are here. All right, so now we're gonna turn it on. Okay, looks like a little arcade game. Looks kind of cool. But uh, this guy, he looks perfectly normal. What if I just... uh? Okay, this guy's either... A mod? Yep, he's definitely a modder. Sorry, sorry to... <laughs> Look at me run, that looks awesome. Oh, he blew up my, the car before I got in it. What a dick. This looks kind of cool, though. It's like an old arcade game kind of thing. All right, so flying is definitely... Uh, feels normal. Feel, sport mode feels normal. So let's put this thing on the ground. And I died. Okay. <laughs> All right, but there we go. I am now an alien. Let's just take another car. We're not going to fly around this time. We're just going to get in it and drive and see what it is like. Excuse me, ma'am. And she just completely disappears. I wonder if she, like, falls through the ground. Okay, but this is definitely an experience. Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's see what the dashboard looks like. Okay, it looks fairly normal inside the car. Looks fairly normal. Speedometer still looks uh, good. Still works normally. But yeah, this is definitely weird. Definitely different. This guy, that guy's having a friggin' stroke over there, dude. He needs a, maybe he needs a number to my therapist or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. And then we just fall off. But before we die, I'm just gonna save myself. Okay. Never mind. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> uh. Alrighty, well, it's going to be a real big pain in the ass if, you know, if every single time we die, we have to change myself back into a, um, into an alien. So, I'm just going to be my regular self. I don't know why I'm, like, bald. Like, wave check, question mark? Like, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, we're just going to be the regular monkey because I would have to switch into alien costume every single time. And that's going to get obnoxious real quick. But, yeah, walking through, it's just kind of nothing here. Kind of like, yeah, it's definitely weird. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's head into some missions and see how easily or hard it can be. I'm going to be doing these solo as well, just so you guys know. Well, today, the first mission we're going to go into is a titan of a job. Let me start up the graphics, <laughs> the epic graphics potato mode mod right now. Um, I'm going to do a mission that I'm really familiar with, like Titan of a Job, of course, I know really well. I'm not going to teleport. I'm not. I'm just going to drive there. And if I die, I I, I don't know. <laughs> um, I only have a certain amount of lives. If I die too many times, though, I'm going to I'm going to definitely just like skip to it and then try and see what it's like to get in a gunfight with some enemies. I'm going to have God mode and stuff on as well. <laughs> And look at that. I just fall right through the map. That's epic. Oh, but okay. Um, am I just going to keep falling through the map? I don't I don't understand. Okay, well, I just turn it back off just to see what would happen. I have no... Oh, I'm in the tunnels. Why the hell am I in the tunnels? I turned off potato mode. We're, we're going to call it potato mode from here on out i turn off potato mode to see if i could just like land back on the on the on the road and i just fell through and i'm in a tunnel now and i can't see oh there okay there we go never mind all right well i think it'd be fair if we just headed back up to the surface and i'm just gonna continue driving on all right so bam back up to the surface we're going to turn it back on, <laughs> and now we're going to keep driving. I don't know how many more times I'm going to fall through the earth. And I only have a certain amount of lives, too, so if I die too many times, this could be this could be very difficult. Challenging this is, and cars just disappear out of nowhere, and I'm falling through the map again. 
Let's just save myself there. Save myself some... Okay. <laughs> that road is just non-existent, apparently. Can I just... Uh... Nope, this road is non-existent as well. Here, let's turn off potato mode. Okay, now I'm on the ground again. There we go. <laughs> Look at the crane. <laughs> you can't see anything. It's just floating lights and some bars. That looks so whack. But I could be wrong. Nope, I don't think I'm wrong. <laughs> Alright, so what we have to do is just keep turning it on and off and then keep driving you, know? you can't see any of the guardrails or like barricades between the roads or anything i get too close to a car and they just instantly actually are the cars there hold on let's let's watch these cars pull up they just instantly disappear what about this car it just instantly disappears i don't think cars can get too close to me with this uh this graphics potato mode on that's weird. I didn't I didn't know that that would actually happen. Just in case, I'm going to turn it off and then back on again. All right, here we go. Gunfight time. And if you guys think that, you know, using god mode and stuff is too OP, let me know. Maybe I'll try this again and do, like, a heist or something. Um, I think that'd be pretty fun. But, yeah, uh, surprisingly, gunfights are definitely kind of the same. I can see the people pretty well. I can just hear people on fire. That's all I hear is just people screaming. Weird. This guy's just floating in midair. He's up in the catwalk. Let's just turn that back on. And then back on again. <laughs> wow, he's just floating there. Uh, every mission item that you can use, or that you need to use, are, are here. Wait a second. Who drove this Hummer here? I didn't... This isn't... Let's kill someone. Alright, so the dead body's right there. Now let's turn it back on. Okay, well, the, the body's too low. It's like under this little invisible pool kind of thing. All right, well, I'm too lazy to get the semi-truck out of the way. So I think I'm just going to drive through it real quick. I'm just going to sport mode through it. And then, bam, back in the ground. Um, flying shouldn't... Why can't I go forward? Why can't I... Oh, there we go. Okay, it just took really long. Mine should definitely be pretty simple as well. It should be the same, just about. Yeah, I doubt anything will be different with flying, but if it is any different, uh, you guys will see it. Other than that, I'll probably just skip the r All right, so here we go. We're coming up on the uh, Sandy Shores airfield here. Um, I'm not the greatest at landing, especially with the keyboard. Um, it's a little awkward for me, but I think I got it. Easy peasy right here. And uh, let's just hope that the ground is actually there. Seems to be there. Looking like we're landing. Alrighty. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm in the objective. Mission complete. Mission passed. Okay. Right? Hello? It's still. Wait. I'm confused. It just kicks me out again. Okay, there we go, mission pass. Okay, that was fairly simple. Pretty much the only difficult thing was the drive there. All right, so now we're gonna check out and see what it's like here in Boneyard Survival. Potato mode is currently off right now, just so I can get a smooth load in. All the pickups and kind of just like movable things, like keep in mind these are like spawned in. I don't think any, most of the stuff is here in the actual like, game. Like, these boxes can just be placed. Surprisingly, like, all the boxes and stuff are here. And, um, looks okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm running into a wall. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, looks like I lucked out and got out of here. Yep, and the hillbilly's over here just floating, floating along. Gotta get my RP. Grind for that RP. And bodies will show up. And the wall is... Okay, help me. But I think, yeah, the bodies will definitely show up. The Ooh, look at that. The bold holes is just pretty much showing up the little picture that, uh, you know, Rockstar um, designed into their game. It's just a little picture. Shows up when you shoot at it. That's uh, kind of interesting right there. This is oh, the train's here. Okay, the train looks completely normal. Nice. Cool. Survival failed. I don't care. <gasps> Air joining. What else is new, Rockstar? Here's my house. We might as well take the tour while we're here. Um, 
This is a little thing in here. Woke up at the hospital without insurance. You better... Okay, we're, like, getting some bad frame drop. Walking into my house, I think. Uh, I don't know if that's the door. Just see Tracy. Is she on the shitter? What is she doing? Hello? No? Okay, well... This is the DeSanta household. We're still getting really bad frame drops. That's weird. Okay, well... Really no big deal. Okay, well, Tracy's still upset. Oh, jeez. Alright, romance isn't dead. Alright, we're gonna get in the car and then activate it. Bam. Okay, so... Earlier with the survival, I could walk on stuff. Okay. Oh, okay, so... The sand, like, raises up and now I can see, like, the actual floor and, like, my tire tracks and stuff. Once again. <laughs> it's definitely hard to get my get around. Um, these are some guardrails. I know that. May or may not be stuck. Let's just lift myself up. <laughs> Move over here. Um, okay, and I'm running into stuff again. Yeah, no car, absolutely no cars can come within like a certain radius of me with with potato mode on. I, I, all right, I have a theory. So there's definitely trailers like right here. There's no way we can just see straight through. So let's see if we can just shoot these guys, can we? We can, there's no way. Yeah, there's there's so much crap in the way. There's no way I would have shot him. Okay. Oh, but now I can't. Okay, so I guess I just loaded in the textures. I got close. Enough. I'm in potato mode, right? Yeah, I am. Okay. All right, so this guy is in cover way over here. I shouldn't be able to shoot through whatever he's, he's at, but he sends he's so far away, maybe? Like, how was I able to shoot that guy? Yeah, there's an entire van there, and they might have been on the other side of that trailer. He's behind this van. There's no way we can see him right here. But if we turn on potato mode, we can just shoot right through it. Alright, so hopefully I don't have to steal multiple vans. Alright, we're in. And, uh... We're just gonna teleport there, this time. Oh, this is Trevor's trailer. There's nothing here. <laughs> oh, this cutscene! Oh, well, Tracy might have something for you. She was on the shitter earlier. All right, but cutscenes, that was definitely weird. Alrighty, well, I think that's where we're gonna leave it off today. It was definitely a different experience. Uh, you guys may have seen Potato Mode in GTA 5, but I don't know. Maybe you guys have never seen it online before, as you guys can see. We're obviously online. We did some online missions and stuff like that. I just thought it'd be a cool little experience to, you know, check out. And, uh, yeah, it was definitely, definitely a cool experience. And I'm glad you guys stayed throughout the whole thing. I think doing this with a, during a heist without ever turning, um, turning potato mode off, I think that'd be really fun. Like, I would be almost completely blind, uh, to a sense. I wouldn't know, like, where the keypads are or anything. Yeah, thank you guys again for watching, and thank you guys again for all the support that we've had on the channel recently. I appreciate all the support, and um, yeah, so just what I should do with this next, if I should even do it at all again. Um, let's see if I can walk into Trevor's trailer here. I can just walk right in, okay. <laughs> That's cool. But uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. <laughs> I'm getting really distracted, but uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Etc. Etc. Swing on the track like I'm Federer. Look, I'm already ahead of you. You should accept that I'm better, but I ain't come weak with this shit since my ex girlfriend Deborah. Since Molly Cyrus was handling my, I keep it lit on Botanica.